Hey, this is Jerry with Big Dog Movies, and I just want to go over some uh, some differences in cameras on devices, um, things that you have uh, versus things that you can buy. Um, we talk about the quality and the ease of capturing film and video, and it's so much easier nowadays that you have uh, iPads, iPhones, uh, Android phones. You know, handy cams are way down in price, so I just want to do a video, short demonstration on the differences between the quality of the uh, filming devices. I've got three devices here today. Uh, I'll show you. I've got the uh, iPad Air 2. Um, and I do my a lot of video on this. Um, when I do this, I use an app called Filmic Pro. It's a very good app. It actually gives your device more control, better quality video filming. Um, very good app to use for filming video and I just want to show the difference here um, I'll show a small clip of this is the uh, video shot with the iPad Air go ahead and show it you notice the autofocus is trying to kick in so I need to lock the focus on that it's pretty clear I'm shooting uh, 1080p full HD for the uh, in the Filmic Pro app. It's pretty good, no slight, no lag, no anything. So it's, it does a pretty good job. And uh, I use it quite often. Very clear, very good, easy to edit. Um, good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this is the uh, next one I'll show you. Will be the uh, filmed with the Sony. HD Handycam uh, SR11. Uh, I've had this for a while, a couple of years now. Uh, I usually do a lot of video with it. Um, but you, you know, your problem is transferring the videos to your Mac, doing your editing, getting everything transferred over, converted. Uh, it's a little bit of a hassle, a lot more editing work. But uh, this is the video shot with it. As you can see, it's pretty clear. Um, it's probably just as clear as the iPad using the Filmic Pro app. Um, if not, to me, just a little bit better. Notice the autofocus kicking in, uh, blurring a little bit. But still good color, good picture. Uh, does pretty good. Um, so now I'll show you probably one of the biggest surprises to me was video I shot with my Note 4. I have a Galaxy Note 4. And I was just blown away by the video that this thing shoots. Now I started doing this um, with the standard camera app. And uh, I'll show you a video on it. Done with the standard camera. Just notice the clarity already. The difference. And then it, once again this is shooting 1080p Full HD. And just the clarity is just so unbelievable from this phone. Um, crystal clear detail. All the details are very good. No lag in the in the video. Just unbelievable. And this is with the standard camera app. Um, so now I'll show you. Uh, this is a uh, Cinema FV5. Um, I use it on my Note 4. Um, once again, all the settings very adjustable, very customizable to do the things you want to do with it. And I'll show you a video done with it. Just unbelievable. Um, clarity on this is just too good to be true for a phone that you hold in your pocket. If you notice, you know, good detail, good and crisp and clean, very good color. Um, just good shot. So looking at that, you know, there's no no pause there. Um, very good. So let's go back to the iPhone or the iPad. Notice already just right off the bat how how distorted. Got a lot of noise. Um, it does pretty good, but just the the Galaxy just blew me away at how crisp and clean it was. Um, just crystal clear picture. Um, I know a lot of people don't notice the difference, but this is a device you have in your pocket and you carry day to day, and this is the type of video you can record. Um, and also with these, you know, editing editing your movies right on the device, adding titles, you can uh, 
give a cinematic look with apps and completely edit a video on your on your device publish it to YouTube Facebook whatever and you're done it's complete you don't have to bring it in here on the Mac do your editing uh, just really good stuff so I just want to show that and uh, hope everybody enjoyed this video